demonstration of some new seat pocket gauging hardware and software we've got to measure the seat pockets on the inside of gate valves used in the oil and gas industry and Christmas trees. Um, we're reading into some Silmax Silcom software and um, we're going to take various measurements which are extremely difficult to, to measure on the machine tool. The first measurements we're going to take is the pocket diameter. So we've got a left hand diameter which we're going to see readings here and a right hand diameter and we're going to see readings there. Next along we're going to measure across the flats of these pockets. So that's going to be this reading up here and the final measurement probably the most difficult is the symmetry of the center axis to the pocket faces and that's going to be displayed here. So the first two measurements we're going to take are of the left hand internal pocket diameter and the right hand internal pocket diameter. So we've got the Bowers Holmatic pistol grip with Bluetooth functionality and we've got a right angled head. And the first thing we're going to do is calibrate the gauge. So we're going to put the gauge in a plain setting ring and we're going to calibrate. Once we've calibrated we move along to the sample component and take the measurements. So that's one measurement, I'll spin round and take the other measurement. So that's displayed on the screen. So the second measurement we're going to take is the seat pocket across flat distance. So the distance across these faces and that's going to be displayed up in the top right. So the first thing we're going to do is calibrate the gauge and that's it, the gauge is calibrated. We're going to move the gauge into the load orientation, slide that down into the component, and then we're going to rotate the gauge into the measurement orientation. That's going to bring the anvils into contact with the component, and that's going to give us a measurement on the screen. We're also going to get a measurement on the gun. We can take various measurements around the faces to build up an idea of the parallelism of the faces. And that's it, we're done, we're ready to unload. So the final measurement we're going to take is the symmetry of the seat pocket faces in relationship to the centre line running through the centre of the component. We're calling the centre line data may and we're reading the symmetry to data may in the box above. The first piece we're going to place down is this carrier tube. We can extend this depending on the length of the component. I'm just going to slide that down through the bar. We have a datum puck that slides into the carrier. We pull that back up against the seat pocket face. The gauge is a little bit different. It's no longer a holmatic pistol. It's what we call an XDL holder, but it's also got Bluetooth functionality like the other gauging. I'm going to load the gauge into the component. I'm going to calibrate to zero. What we're going to do now is take a measurement of the opposing face in relationship to the first face. So we spin the puck. Take the differential measurement, and the measurement we see on the screen is the symmetry of the pockets. We're seeing about just over half a millimetre of um, symmetry off centre.